Perfect. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right yeah. So you want me to introduce you? It's showing. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to another episode of Play Stupid Games, Win Stupid Prizes, <laughs> and we're doing the series called He Said, She Said with the guy's perspective. So tell what we're talking about today. Oh, we're talking about situationships, dating in the workplace, and friends. Mm -hmm. Uh, mutual you, friends. Yeah, mutual, exes, mutual friends. So when you date someone and then you guys break up and now you have a bunch of mutual friends, like what do you do? <laughs> yeah. Where do you want to start? It's start a nightmare. Hold on. Drink? I'm going to start with the proper way to make a mimosa because yours, and this is Sunday fun day, even though it's late. It's, it's Monday. You know, <laughs> it's oh, Labor, it is it's Labor, Monday. It's Labor. Day. It's Labor Day fun day. Happy Labor Day. Yours has way too much orange juice. Well, because my told you was really strong and I was getting tipsy oh, before. We there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait, what is that, vodka or champagne? Uh, a mix. I was about to say, you took both, didn't you? <laughs> yes, I did. Cheers, bitch. Cheers. All right. I just do this. <laughs> All right, so. It's actually not too bad. Ew. <laughs> it's flat, too. There's, well, you know, it's probably wise. Okay, anyways. <laughs> you dated somebody that you had to still see because you guys are all friends with each other. Yeah. I see a lot of my exes out and about. And uh, I'm sure you can handle it, but can they? It depends. It depends, honestly. There, there are the ones that have a fit and you don't, mm -hmm. uh, you know, interact with. And those who have become kosher with me are I, and the same, yeah. right? But I, I think that it gets a little bit more complicated, though, when they leave you or you leave them and they go to your friend. Yeah, I think guys deal with that more, honestly. Oh, hold on, pause. Act like the camera's not there. Okay. Okay. To be looking at it. No, but like, I mean, we could like be stiff neck. Like Okay. <laughs> to be honest, I feel like it's common for guys to go to a bar or whatever and they see their ex and then they're hanging out with all their friends because usually girls, let's just say the guy dumps the girl, right? The guy dumps the girl and the girl's like not okay with it. So she's like, oh, I'm going to be friends with all his friends and he's going to have to deal with it and see me. That's yeah. how some like the vengeful girls think, but not all. So guys deal with that more. Guys, don't, guys are more out of sight, out of mind. I don't want. I don't want to see my ex. I'm not gonna be friends with her friends. Like we're done. Girls are not like that. I would agree with that a little bit. It's like I but, deal with it more. But I never dated my friend group. Mm -hmm. I always bring girls into the friend group. That's true. It, and so then, if it doesn't work out with me, and they're still in the friend group, my you know, <laughs> my buddies think it's you know like mm -hmm. open season. You know, like why? You why need a hunting. Do that? You need why a hunting that? license. No, you're so cute. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> go, go to your bed. Go to your bed. What the fuck? What is up Wait. with that? Like guys, like just being like, oh, your ex, like the bro code just went out the window. Yeah, it's seriously it's bro code. Like you'd think that someone wouldn't go after your ex. You don't very specifically say, hey, like don't fuck my ex. Okay. But I don't think you have to. Well, <laughs> you shouldn't have to. Right. I got to give props out to one of my buddies that I won't mention, but if he ever sees this or hears it, he'll know. You know, I was interested in a girl a little while back. And when it all played out and didn't work out with us, mm -hmm. he literally sent me a text and asked, hey, would you mind if I go after her? I respect that. Right. And I was like, no, nah. because okay. she didn't uh, respect what I had going on in mm -hmm. my life at the time. Right. And so then I was like, OK, well, you know, you can't do that and mm -hmm. this and I can't do those. Right. It's been a roller coaster ride of, you know, no, I feel for, you like, for him the fact in, that he that. asked, like, whatever. And, and he respected your feelings is what it was but that's 
true friend. No, I believe it. Yeah, it's a real person. It's like a real authentic person. Did you ever have drama from any of those girls that you brought in and then when you guys break up? Like, because no offense, but your last girlfriend, I never saw her after you guys broke up again. She, like, stopped going out. Yeah, let's... Because of the way that the breakup happened. Oh, okay. See, I don't know all that. We'll talk. That's for another episode. Yeah. Yeah. Very embarrassing, mm. I think. And um, shameful. Yeah. I, I don't know. You, you just w- haven't had too much of a draw. That probably would have been the most dramatic one, obviously. Yeah. I mean, we're kosher now. Hold on. They were in the friend group, mm-hmm. right? And then everyone kind of found out what happened. Mm-hmm. And it was like, yeah. by Felicia. Not only that, but like, let's put something on her. Tell them, tell them the story <laughs> about when she walked in the room. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> okay. All right. Remember that. <laughs> People over at, at my house. And we has been... one of those houses that's like, if it's perfect, the meme you sent me not too long ago. <laughs> it's legit like the party house. Like my girlfriend, um... She's on a pool table with a stash, and it's her birthday, and there's just a bunch of dollars around her, and she's like, you know, yeah. and that's the Giving house. her the birthday, bitch, fucking <laughs> yeah. treatment. Yeah. And there's a chair on the pool table, so it's like, oh, what are we doing? What was she doing, by the way? Because I wasn't Oh, there. no, she was sitting there, and all the, like, all the other, her girlfriends that went out that night were sitting there, uh, or uh, dancing around on the pool table and throwing the money with her. Oh, she was sitting and, on the and table. And stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So Tim's house is crazy. But- with parties. Used to be. Used to be. Used to be. You're doing so much better. Yeah. I love it. No, for real, you are. I'm proud of you. But you fell asleep. I or, fell asleep. or you, you told me you were tired. Well, I was, was like, at the bars and I was like, Tim, I'm going to go home. I'm about to come our Uber because I was going through a DUI situation at that time right. Right, when I lived in Orange Park. And you're like, no, we're having people at my house. Just come over and then you can Uber home. And I'm like, okay, it will be cheaper at three in the morning, four in the yeah. morning, not two. So I go with my friends because i was with Brittany, and we go over there and about an hour later the uber's not fucking getting cheaper and i'm getting tired and then you're like oh i have a fucking ass bedroom yeah. i'll lock you in there i'm the only one with the key yeah right <laughs> <laughs> so i take you in there and we go in there and then we're you get under the covers and uh, getting snuggly and we're talking but i'm thigh high boots and a, a jacket it's winter i don't remember it was cold as shit. Yeah. And then we both fell asleep, and you know. No, I fell asleep because Tim can talk just as much as I can. Clearly, we're here on the podcast, <laughs> right? Okay. And I was like listening. You know, when you're like you're about to pass out and someone's talking. Yeah, that was it. So I pass out. He passes out behind me. Wait, no, no, no. Back it up. Back it up. Uh oh. You locked me in, and then right. someone broke in. And I. Shoot them out. And then that's when you locked in. You were talking to me, and then we fell asleep. And then we fell asleep. So he locks me into the guest bedroom, and I have no one with the key. But you can you can take, a like, a credit card and... Who would do that at a house party? Do that. House. Somebody uh, get, did that. Get, get someone who has Somebody, an addiction. Yes. No, <laughs> <sucking addiction. laughs> well, you don't know. We're not that, that part of it yet. That's who broke in. But was it? Yes. No. That's when you I, I texted you. I said somebody just broke into the room that you said I was locked in. You're like, I'm on my I'm on my way. Oh god. Yeah. Well, hold on, because I thought that we both <laughs> fell asleep there. I we both asleep. fell asleep there. We weren't there yet. Hold on. Okay. Bitch. Okay. All right. Let's recap the fucking memory. <laughs> yeah. You came in because they broke in, and I texted you, and you're like, guys, who go to the bathroom? Why did you That's come in here? Right. It was day. De- okay. So back it up. Yo, I could totally pull that up in our text. Yes, I'm going to take this section off because that was <laughs> just me reminding you of the fucking memory. I mean, cool. I'm going to take a nap at 6 in the morning, 7 in the morning. I'll go home. Somebody. Jimmy's in. opened the door, right? In the room yep. that I'm in. <laughs> it, I didn't in, know this, clearly. Like, you're under the covers and... Oh, girl. A guy and a girl come in there and she proceeds to... You know, fellatio, slob the knob, yeah. yeah. And that I, I'm surprised. And they had no idea you were there because they were down on the end of the bed and you were curled up at the top. And I was like all in black, black and, tie, high boots, yeah. black jacket. And, my- and you texted me that that was going on, and I came over there and was like, "Yeah, You're so about I wake up, door. 
And I'm like, what the fuck? And she's like, oh my God. Because she didn't know it was a human <laughs> being next her. And I'm like, dude, like the door was locked. Go fucking suck dick in the bathroom. <laughs> or the laundry room. Or the right. garage. Right. So I text Tim. I'm like, Tim, old girl was sucking, you know, come get her. And he comes and he's like, who? You're like, who fucking opened my door? This is why it was locked. Anyway, she kicked him out. He right. locks the door. Yeah. And he's talking. And we're talking <laughs> and we fall asleep. <laughs> And then my girl at the time. So we're both are sleeping in a bed. <laughs> yeah. And my bestie here is in a relationship. And she's somewhere in the house. And I, at some point, I do remember hearing, where's Tim? Where's Tim? Where's Tim? Right before the door opened. And then, like, she opened the yeah. door. And the door was like, tell me it wasn't Yo, the most loud. It was she, slammed <laughs> open. And we woke up. And she's like, oh, I found him. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? And here I am laying in the bed and he's next to me. And I'm like, why are you sleeping here? And I was, I dude, I called it Uber so oh, fast at five in the you, morning. You were I'm under walking. the covers and I was on top. I mean, that was I'm wa- well, I had my total boots, legit. I literally had my high heel boots <laughs> all the way to here too. Like, hello, there's nothing going on. But anyway, yeah, I, got I an thought ass I was going to get my ass whooped. So I walked down your neighborhood at 5 a.m. waiting for my Uber. I was trying to catch up to him. <laughs> I was out of there. That was so embarrassing. I thought she was going to whoop my 